Hi people, welcome back to my series on the StackVM uh, tutorial. Uh, where we last left off, we were going to build a makefile for our SASM machine. So, uh, actually, let me pull out my notes. Uh, the reason why we need a makefile is so <clears throat> we don't have to type in all sorts of commands into the terminal every time we want to compile our program. So instead, we'll create a makefile and uh, put all those commands in there so that we only have to type one. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, uh, I also found some mistakes in the program uh, before we run it. So let's go ahead and fix those. So let's open our lexer.h. And we'll go down here to our enumeration and we'll add a semicolon at the end, and that will fix that. We'll open our lexer.cpp file, and we'll go to line 83, and we'll replace the semicolon with a colon, <clears throat> and then we will also replace a less than sign with a greater than sign, I believe. Let me look at my notes. Actually, it needs to be a less than sign. So we're good. Um, then, SASM. We'll open that up, and I misspelled type def. So we'll add an E in there, and that should be it. Now we can start building our make file. And what we'll do is we'll create our C flags. And we're going to use the C++11 standard. And then we'll create a command for, for to compile our SASM binary. And then our SASM command will depend on SASM.O and Lexer.O. And we'll, oops. C flags here. And we'll do sasm.o, luxor.o. Our output file will be let's see. There we go. Now we'll create a command for our lexer.o and it will depend on lexer.h and lexer.cpp and we will compile oops, our lexer.cpp then we will also create our sasm.o command and it depends on lexer.h and sasm.cpp and we will compile our sasm.cpp file and then our final command will be a clean command which will uh, remove our uh, sasm binary our .o files and any .bin files that we've created and that's it that's our make file and what we, what we can do is test it out by running make and it looks like it was successful. We now have a green SASM binary um, executable. And so let's run it with our test program. And, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so what we need to do is, oh, yeah, that's right. I, mi I mixed up my, uh, Command. So what we're going to do is vim 
plexer.cpp. Uh, let's go down to line 91 and replace this less than with a greater than. Now let's do a make and run. There, so now we have an out dot binary file. So now we have our working uh, stack assembler. And uh, so for next time, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our stack VM and finish our main.cpp file because right now it, it, uh, it has a built-in program here. And so instead of the built-in program, we want to be able to we want to be able to read in our binary file and run it in our virtual machine. So next time we'll be finishing up our stack VM and then we'll be able to test out our full system. Thanks for watching.